The management of CNS infection is really very challenging. They can present as meningitis, encephalitis, brain abscess and nosocomial infections particularly in the neurosurgical patients. So Dr. Rajiv, how important is to appropriately select antibiotics in patients with CNS infection and uh, there is a lot of importance you feel is of local epidemiology. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Dr. Rajesh, uh, I think it is, I cannot really overemphasize this point. CNS, it comes to, you know, it is all confined, it is something is happening inside the cranium. So, we do not have a clue exactly what is happening there. We have to go by different types of tests and so on and therefore, and there is no time to lose because on one hand you are having a face, uh, you are facing a very seriously ill patient and it is just, just the brain which is getting damaged which is such an important part of the, our body and it is so irreversible and therefore, one cannot afford to be wrong. Therefore, hit right and hit early is that dictum is very, very applicable to CNS infections. If one is facing the community acquired meningitis, we know that it is a matter of few hours when a previously totally healthy person can actually die. And therefore, if one can intervene, because these organisms are very rapidly multiplying, they are so inflammatory that they are going to produce rapid destruction of the brain. And within the confines of the cranium, there is no space to expand, raised ICP itself takes a toll and so on. Therefore, having the right antibiotic is very important. At the same time, I would also emphasize that there may be a very good role of steroids as well to control the inflammatory reaction, which might happen as a result of destruction of the large number of organisms which occurs with appropriate therapy. So, needless to say, the local epidemiology is the most important thing because you are not going to get enough time for the bacterial cultures to return and positive identification of the organism to be actually done when we start treatment. I think it is important for you to know the local epidemiology from time to time from your microbiologist and the sensitivity pattern yes. to be appropriate. I think in this uh, there is a lot of importance of uh, giving higher doses and uh, why do we really give uh, higher doses in uh, CNS yeah. infection? The most important reason is that uh, whichever the drug, the penetration into the CNS is always going to be a difficulty. So that uh, the drug needs to be given in the highest tolerable doses. Even in the presence of inflammation, the penetration is less. And another very important point is as compared to other infections where the dose may be reduced as the patient starts improving.